<laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I am back for the Draft Mania event. Um, you can read the rules on the screen, we're all going to draft a deck and then we're just going to play a bunch of games. Um, judging by how many people we have. And it's sort of just like trying to mimic the Hearthstone like arena style of you make a deck. How how good can it be? <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna go zero for three? Is it gonna go three for zero? Um, event slated to go like three hours. Hopefully that'll be it. We'll see. Um, Yo, can you hear me? Yep. How's it going? Going well. Going well. I'm excited for this. I've never done any deck building, <laughs> let alone <laughs> this. Uh, yeah. You haven't I... done any deck building at all. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you guys hearing an echo, or is that just on my my end? Oh, it's probably... Hello! There, there it is. It's just on my end. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, how's it going with you? Uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm excited. I am excited to get started. Um, well, it looks like it's noon, so we can probably start drafting decks. Uh, so just leave the... Already. <laughs> okay, sweet. Uh, I, fi I figured I would do it at the time of, just for added effect. Uh, so just leave the settings on default. You can turn on mercenaries if you want, uh, at, at your own risk. I saw that. I did turn on mercenaries. That's <laughs> pretty, great. Pretty good. Um, Are mercenaries good? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> but... <laughs> Jack, do <if> you disagree? <laughs> About what? Uh, how Mercenary? good mercenaries are. Uh, they're generally bad. Even the one that I like. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's Black Saber, obviously. If you have like a Blood Summon deck, that could be annoying. But eh. uh, you have to also draft that deck. I think you have to get the cards to line right in this mode. So I think Mercenaries are probably fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like and, they're like, too It specific. gave me a lot of Mercenaries. It, it gave me Ashia twice <laughs> yeah. in my early picks. So it's definitely uh, at your risk. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's that's what I was worried about. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start drafting mine. Uh, hopefully, we'll just be done in ten minutes or so. Uh, so do we, just, do we um, have any ground rules? Default, right? Uh, the the ground rules I said were d d d yeah default configuration, and you can you're allowed to enable mercenaries at your own risk. Cool. That's, that's all, right. all I got. Uh, and see you guys in like seven minutes. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's draft this. Um, feel free to just keep talking. I I, I just meant I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be going over my picks to to my live stream right now, so I'm gonna mute myself. Gotcha. Um. Do, do, do. Huh, but I guess we still bit, need to wait until we off. know who we're playing. Yeah. Although we still have an odd number of people. I thought there was an even number. Maybe we gotta look for Grinor. He said he might show up, but yeah. He's listed in the form that was sent out half an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, they they said they're in. Um hopefully they'll be here soon. Maybe just not the chatty type. Mm, you gotta right. love when you it send like shadow elves because you're just like, I'll get the deck. combo, and then none of your events are blood summon. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I really curious about how consistent it is to get the combo or not. Um, because like I feel like I was able to get it like a third of the time. I don't know. When, like to get like when five I, of the events. When out I of the did it with Prophet the other day, he picked Shadow Elves and got Blood Summon, um, and he did win once. But then we played again, and I won the second time. I was playing like just a super aggro Wayfarers deck, which mm. might be one response to the Blood Summon. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm I gonna need to challenge. Be right back once I'm once okay. I'm yeah. Oh. Um, okay, I, I I'm very curious to hear what they're doing, but we got to make our deck too. So let's let's make this real quick. What are we going with? Do you want to do a Krusk? 
like some sort of nonsense ah <laughs> all these decks are terrible no we we got this uh do we want celeste i think we could do some nonsense with celeste i'm not too familiar with the nonsense she can do but let's 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 let's, let's run it let's run it um oh she's got border archers all right we're in there we're in there um jail slingers are kind of bad <laughs> um i don't think we can take them um Gem dancers, good. And the thing, the thing that's good about Summoner Wars is we don't really need to worry about like the net magic cost of our deck because like if it's too costly, we'll just discard some units, and if it's too cheap, we'll just do the same. I think Battle Leader could be pretty good. Moto Boots is pretty funny. Um, Chant of Weaving is pretty funny. Um, let's go with Battle Leader. Um, let's go with Slip By. I mean, we were kind of just building base Celeste at this point, but that's fine. No one ever said that wasn't allowed. Um, just auto-taking border archers, auto-taking gem dancers. I think I need some bandits, but ban dancers are really good. Um, uh, hard to pass up a bomb. Um, definitely if I can get four border archers, I will not be mad. Um... Spirit Mage, okay, we're, we're, we don't have anything with boosts and whatnot, so maybe we just take an adventure, um, get one of those, another Dancer. So we just have a very heavy deck. Uh, I think Smeg is pretty good for extra attacks. Um, Klinger would be good if we can get the Airy Gate. Let's see, Slip By, Slip By, Battle Leader Court. Um, okay, so we still get we still get two more cards. Uh, do, do, do. Um... Clinger could be good. Let's go. Huh. I mean, so could the sniper, though. I kind of want one glory caller, but it is just kind of bad. Um, sniper behind border archer seems pretty crazy. Hmm. Let's let's go. Fine, let's go glory caller. Um and then more more dancers and then more border archers. And then wait, what did I end up taking? I did I take the I took the glory caller. Okay. Um well that's that's a little unfortunate because now with this, I don't really want another glory caller. Um whatever, we'll take it. Um could take the Sentinel, let's take a sniper. Um, too many glory callers. Um, uh, I, w I wish I had made like a, a clinger deck. Um, I think the rogue. Yeah, sneak, entangling. I think entangling's got to be it. I don't know how, but uh, it, 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 that could bite us. Um, all right, we need some zero costs. For sure. We're very low on the zero cost. Another battle leader, I'll take it. Alright. Um, oh, and we need one more champion. Um we don't have any zero costs, so dagger isn't that good. Ah, it's it's, it's a shame. Uh let's just take Blarf. Alright, I'm hopping back in the chat. Alright, I'm gonna go Sarah. You've all you've all convinced me. <laughs> oh, you're stuff. still picking. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> oh crap! Two types of drafters, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I I sent it. Um, I'm not. Yeah, I've never made a Celeste deck before. Um, I'm not sure if this uh, is the best. You got Wayfair. <laughs> I got it was between Wayfarers, um, and Baldar and Krusk. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I would. Yeah probably also take celeste in that case i didn't i like celeste <laughs> i didn't end up doing like a clingers build or a zero cost build which i'm kind of disappointed by i just sort of have a bunch of border archers and dancers <laughs> oh one of those kind um, of decks yeah <laughs> but um so here's my thing i'm only gonna be able to play one game and it's gonna have to be quick <laughs> yeah no worries hey. you, you tell, tell me about it beforehand um uh yeah we'll hopefully um, hopefully we can start is everyone drafted but see about it 
I'm still going, but I should be done soon. Well, too. Well, no, so what do we it. have? So do we need to put the, our deck link in the spot? Oh no, you just say what the deck is. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking actually we would put the we would put the full link there, though we don't really need to for any reason. Um, Yeah, Ben, I threw together a, a a draft coordination channel at the bottom. Yes, and like, I saw that. I saw that. If we want to use that, I was thinking the tables could be like if the two people playing just want to be in a table together, that could be fun. So we don't have to have everyone talking over everybody. Yeah, I that makes a lot of sense. I like that. I went Shadow Elves and did not see a single Blood Summon, so this is going to go great. Uh, <laughs> Got it. I'll tell you, my deck or could not beat the crazy Shadow Shadow Elves deck, so I'm very glad you missed out on that. <laughs> I would be I would be afraid. Um, yeah. Let, let's let's say try to get started in like five minutes. Um, though if, oh, okay. if a few people need if few people need a bit more time, I can start some games and not the others. It's fine. I can do five minutes for sure. All right, sweet. Um, let me, let me message for Gnor. Mm. Maybe Griner doesn't have a mic, or he doesn't want to join. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, they, they messaged me right before the event, so. Hopefully they're in. <laughs> even, even well, they said they players? made it back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Good, good, good. Uh, Chase, I can just roll some random numbers to determine the matchups for the first round. Yeah, that's good. Uh, good. Okay, sweet. Because, uh, yeah, it looks like Gnor's in. I just messaged them, so they're all good. And let me show this on stream. Here we go. Okay, mm -hmm. random numbers. Um uh it's three versus six. Alright. Um <laughs> so we got Steabata. Uh no, we got level three CPU versus gosh darn it. Is there a way to just copy without formatting? Copy paste. Values only. Okay, whatever. Um, I have my deck. I'm not sure if it's good or not, it but it looks fun. Again? <laughs> Tell me what it's about. Values only. Okay, and then It'll let's... will be an experience. Let's do it again. Um, Got mine too. I'm just going to ignore... Do one through four. Right. There are definitely Got some cards that are better than others. Versus... Okay. Four versus what? three. Um, it's kind of an inane statement now that I say it out loud. Two, three. Uh, Cheres versus Jexic. And that leaves Ben 10 versus. Uh, Chase, don't watch the game. Cool. <laughs> uh, and that's that. That's that. We got the decks. We got the pairings. <laughs> All right, I, I did some randomization and we have matches. So we got uh, level three CPU versus Grenor, Cheras versus Jexex, and then Ben 10 versus Siabata for the first round. Cool. All right. I say hello yes. to all the viewers at home. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and so I think. Yeah, so Chase made a bunch of tables underneath for draft coordination. Um, so if you want to like join a game with your with your friend, or we can, or or stay here, or don't be on call, whatever, whatever is preferable. Let's do like table one, table two, table three, so you know which. Okay, sweet. 
Cool. So you know which table to hypothetically go to. Uh, but you don't have to, but I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I will also go. Hey, hey. Hello. Uh, how, how have you been? I've been pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, ben <laughs> did a lot of Summoner Wars and now dialing it back a little bit, but I'm Same. excited about live games. <laughs> yeah, in my opinion, the most fun, the most fun way to play this. Asynchronous like, is really useful, convenient, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that the. Um thinking that 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 we get we get live games on the app sometime soon um i would love that um oh i guess should i should i tell people to play faster yeah it's fine playing live games uh i'm, I'm gonna set set it to 45 minutes that's all right perfect um And then should I make the game link or? Uh, I got it. There you go. All right. Thank you. Uh... And I, I'm currently streaming right now. Is it okay if I send your audio out to stream? Yes. Thanks awesome. for asking. Yeah, of course. So what? What the? You made vanguards? Oh, I'm I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't like yeah, I got that. I got convinced. You weren't here, but I was like vanguards. The odds <laughs> of I have to be so reliant on citadel units, but everyone talked me into it, and I'm glad. Uh oh. Because I got, I got the knights. Uh huh. Did you get? How about like the arbiters of peace? Three of them. Oh no. <laughs> And uh, law of sanctity. Yeah. Uh, one of them. That's that's better than none. Um, yeah, I they kept yeah. having to just decide between arbiters of peace and citadel archers. I took archer the first time because I was too hesitant that I wouldn't get citadel units. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you, you sorry you you took archer before instead of arbiter of peace the first time. The very first time, yeah. Yeah. You're looking pretty good here, too. Two slip eyes, two battle leaders, all four border archers, all four gem dancers. Yeah, I got, I just sort of, I don't know, there, there might be a contradiction here where I, I kind of went for value, even though maybe that's not what you're supposed to do with Celeste. I just can't, like, I see a border archer and I'm like, I got to pick that up. Border archers are so good. I don't have airy gates. Uh, I I could have taken an airy gate too. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this deck is it. <laughs> and you got you got the cave goblin zero costers there too. That I like didn't Warp take. Like... Oh oh yeah 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 the units. Oh I, I did take those. Hmm. I ended up not taking dagger because I didn't have enough zero cost, but I forgot about the champions. I definitely should have taken. De well no no because I only had smeg at that point. Um. All right, looks like I'm I am going first. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Bring the fight to Capone, especially against the Wayfarers. I do not want to let you get set up. Yeah. Good roll.
plays to you? I got dancers. Like all and, of them? Uh, just just a few. Um, they're coming for you somehow. Shucks. Um, the War of the Two Fives. Uh, huh. Uh -huh. Uh. Oh, you know, I can't just have that dancer swap with the Citadel Knight. That's how, that's dancers are good for for that in particular. Yeah, it's a good counter. <laughs> um, sweet. I mean, especially I guess, if I I'm... set up peace later, you get them out of peace range. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's do it. <laughs> Quick five for five. Oh, goodness. All right. There we go. Yeah, I'm so used to border archers being super good, but like, they do have a downside when they're not in Abushi, I guess. Really stationary, especially yeah. when you only have one gate up. Yeah, that that airy gate. I, I wish I had it. Yeah, I feel like this format would like really encourage knowing how to deck build like all the decks because I've deck built with like I don't know like four or five summoners total, and so I just I got three summoners that I haven't really deck built much with, and it's like well crap, <laughs> I don't really know how to build this. Yeah, especially for something like Celeste where it's you have a lot of good options, but no like. It's the guarantees. Yeah, yeah. Makes the decisions harder. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pop it. <laughs> against way uh, against Wayfarer's tempo. Yeah, I you're you're playing against cave goblins. So they're basically big big less of them cave goblins. <laughs> cave goblins that go even faster. I, I'm afraid. I'm muted. I, I think this deck is bad. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Um, I'll, I'll show you most of it again. Oh, I have the gory call list for the archers. I don't actually come in huge. I don't, because, like, it's trying to be a value deck. At least we've got the coordinates. We've got the slip by. Uh, we're, we're 
We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get in there. Mess of a deck there. <laughs> I don't know how to build Wayfair. I should have gone for like a zero cost dagger. See, I just didn't have like two of my events until the very end when I was drafting. <laughs> I love for someone to go back into my draft picks and be like, yeah, that was dumb, that was dumb, that was dumb. Let me take that forward spot. I like it. The one in front of the gate? Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have put a knight there. Uh, I, I, I beg to differ. I didn't because it would uh it wouldn't be covered by the piece arbiter. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, it's funny. I I've been thinking this is guarding spirits. I just I, I see the symbol and I'm like, oh, guarding spirits is up. That's not guarding spirits. Okay, that changes things. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> You're giving away too much. Um. Celeste in the back, not doing anything. She shouldn't stay there. Uh, she might. I don't want her to take a damage. I mean, maybe I just like chill in the corner. I kind of want to kill this cultist. Goodness, devout cultists are kind of good, too. Especially in this format. Yeah, yeah. Where everyone's decks kind of mid. Um, all right, no, let's just do this. I feel like uh, I feel like when I when I chatted with you before, like your favorite was your favorite deck Polar Dwarves. Is that still yes. true? Yes. Yes. Uh, Savannah Elves, but Polar Dwarves Savannah. are still there, up there in Polar second. Are still there. Yeah. Have have things shifted for you at all as as new decks have come out? I I've just kind of fallen in love with Savannah Elves deck building. Uh, really interesting. Yeah, I got their, I got their deck all the way to profit, uh, before he shut that down, in the yeah. recent tournament. Yeah. But just the amount of different combos you can do with border archers and vine mancers and eager adventurers, and entangling enchanted power all working together, and rhinos, to give extra movement. Especially the eager adventurers because they spawn in with two boosts. Uh, which you can then use with entangling to trample. You can then use as they're intended to to embark. Yeah, I remember watching one of your games and like you used like, oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, All right let's get, let's that knight's sucks. gonna get another attack, and sure. This game sucks. Um, and I was like, wait, how was that? Like, I I, I thought that um uh adventures were kept like capped at two embarks and then i just saw it go like five spaces to kill some to kill a summoner <laughs> and i was like oh my goodness that's that is quite crazy you just stack boosts on malder you stack boosts from malder on abushi and your opponent there's just it's a pick your poison because you can just yeah. sit with six boosts on your summoner and just wait until you get the opportunity and then kill them in one turn. It falls apart against certain decks, Law of Sanctity in particular, mm. takes it out pretty pretty effectively. But uh, being able to play the game, and even if you're getting completely destroyed, knowing that you still have a chance is something that appeals a lot to me. Because with some other decks, like the economy ones, like the Vanguards here, if you're getting beat on the economy, and you don't have any renewed hopes or anything left, you kind of know you're going to lose, and it's just a matter of time. And that's yeah. never true with the Savannah Elves. Base mm. deck or deck building. And so you're just always hoping to just explode and do a Chant of Power turn. 
no matter essentially yeah what, what the odds are yeah That's funny. I I I feel like my my butt summoned cool doc deck like gets there in a similar in a in a totally different way. But like to like if cool doc's the only unit on the board, I could still have some like monster hand that just gets a bunch of gets a bunch of warriors out and then demands and rolls twenty dice on your summoner. As they deserve. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I should have muted myself. I'm still sick. <laughs> uh, still sick, but we're making through it. Or like, Keep at, changing at my mind. End. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've decided this is a value deck. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to outvalue you. Uh, I don't know how. But... I guess the vanguards? It, it's it's gonna be an uphill battle but <laughs> oh no yeah i'll bring up oh, Vanessa. oh no use all my magic on it Dude, look at glory callers and plus archers they're good now they're better in sundervid <laughs> this, this deck is just gonna to do be a deck. have fun up there these knights better die sometime soon <laughs> they don't have to <laughs> like I would just rather have base wayfarers right now <laughs> than oh shucks like, of course now that is. I roll it I completely forgot that I have that knight that just lives so I only needed I only have three attacks uh, oh well you should have got you out of range it's 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 real tough for you I know I have I have life so <laughs> difficult oh my goodness you live and learn I just want this knight to be not alive. <laughs> You'll get to pop up with like six dice on the next one. Well, it, it, even if I if I do see this play is real cheeky, but it takes a damage. It's not even worth it. Ah, I hate it. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Um. I guess I just won't move anything. I think this this is winning. Couldn't have done that last time. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, you do have divine rat. I guess that would give you pings. Maybe think about your deck, but I don't think you have any way of pinging this normally. Right. Do I hold this? <laughs> I like these cards. I want to hold this. I could I could lose the caller. Nah, I'm freaking holding this. I don't care. I got the gate. Never punished. Oh my goodness. All right, Sarah's not in my grill. I mean, partly because Sarah got to go first and, like, took the fight to Calpone, like, that that's making it tough for me. Um, 
Oh shucks, that's that's locked that spot. Well, if you want, if you kill me in one turn, so be it. I want to. If you're playing for value, I want to get the value of the extra Citadel Knight. Citadels might. I'm not, see, I'm not playing for. I'm, I'm just mind gaming you. <laughs> Ooh. See, like, I don't even. I don't even have that many tricks. I, I guess I have entangling. What could entangling? But like entangling isn't gonna do me anything. I should have put some spirit mages in this. <laughs> this the more I think about this deck, the more I'm just like, this is a mess. <laughs> this makes no sense. And I, 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 time. Yeah, I, I love it, but it is absolutely a mess. Um. We'll call it flexible. <laughs> yeah. Versatile. Like, it can... You know, like, it is It is probably... It is better at econ than base wayfarers, probably? Yes, it is border okay. archers. It's definitely better than... So, it's, 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 it's got something going for it, right? Surely. Um, no, I gotta prepare. Gotta be prepared. God, Celeste having three attack makes me want to cry. Can you, like, kill me with some nonsense? Um, totally fine. Not even worried. Um, let's go. Come on. Thank goodness. Whatever. As long as it dies. As long as it dies. Oh, why didn't I... Bad. I should have <laughs> uh, should have killed the Arbiter of Peace before that. That yeah. might have gotten you three dice on Sarah. It. We're gonna we're we're gonna move on. We're gonna we're gonna accept our accept our flaws there. All right. Don't kill Celeste, please. <laughs> Like the border border archers are good, and like the fact that we have glory callers, I wish I had Airy Gate, but like, and, and I wish I had taken some spirit mages. Actually, I really because... wanted to draw gates there. <laughs> I I like the sound of that. See, do you have a second renewed hope? You do, um, and a tome. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> that it's priest great. in the back is gonna be tome bait. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. That priest is gonna die to a tome. Don't don't worry about it. She's just <laughs> she's just reinforcements. That's so that's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> there is there is only one use for the vanguard starting setup. All right, we like so it's we got to think about this like a challenge. So maybe maybe we didn't know what we were doing when we were building a Wayfarer's deck. Maybe. But we're still going to take this tourney. We're going to take it by storm. We got this. Yeah, I like this play. Let's see it. Three dice, three, three Actually, more dice on Sarah would have been pretty nice. Now that I'm thinking about it.
If this glory caller could just be like activated every turn. That would be busted. That that that'd be nice. Like just to just see movement on my yeah. archers. I should have taken spirit mages. I just I wasn't I wasn't thinking. I wasn't I didn't realize that I didn't I wasn't playing a bua. Sanctity, okay, I'll take that. That means Celeste is alive. Um That's true. Hey, it worked out. <laughs> That's what we like did to you, see. Did you roll a one on three? I looked away. You did. <laughs> I rolled a one on three. Oh my goodness. I mean, Border Edge is kind of counter sanctity, so can't be that mad. What is that? <laughs> This archer better better hit his target. <laughs> yes. Should, gosh darn it. With uh. the boost too. Uh. Alright. Alright. But yeah, you we keep sanctity up. I'll take. I'll still take more because you have border archers. That's gonna be two instead of one. But yeah, it seems. It still seems good. Hmm. I don't think I put that gate there. So like, you might occupy it. But then again, if you occupy it, do I really care? Maybe we just go there. It's fine. Um. What were your other two factions? Uh, that you had Balzar choices? and Krusk. What made you... I get not taking Balzar, uh, given how specific he is. What made you choose Celeste over Krusk? Um, I, I, I remembered, like, Jexic's shenanigans with, like, airy gates and clingers, and I was like, oh, that could be fun. And then I wasn't, I, I thought about, like, I've just, I've never built a Krusk deck, and I was like, wait, what would that even look like? Like, I feel like I would just be trying to build a base Krusk deck. But now I'm like, scavengers and parapets? You think that would be how you build it, or what would you do? I, I did one where I tried to just recreate Polar Dwarfs with Sand Goblins, with a yeah. bunch of Guild Gunners, parapets, scavengers. It was just a worse Cave Goblin. I mean, a worse... <laughs> Polar dwarves. I Smeg popped up. That's my yeah, that's yeah. my excuse. Um I feel like I gotta say something insightful because I'm on the live stream. I'm just here like cave goblins are the same as polar dwarves. No, two no. plus two equals five. Uh trust me, this 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 live stream is very used to me just blithering nonsense twenty four seven. Yeah, I, I think my Celeste deck has just become a worse Savannah Elves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, it, also, if, if it was Sundervad, that would also work. It's just everything about it is failing. I got but, Sundervad on one of my practice drafts and got a bunch of Border Archers. I was yeah. hopeful well, I could do that again. Well, my first ever practice draft, I did... <laughs> Um, I did Shadow Elves, and I was only one card off from having double Blood Summon, double Tome, double Call Forth, and I also had four uh, carriers. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I was like, "Well, this would win." Um, but and th then I did it like seven more times, and like I was able to get like like two thirds of the combo, like half the time or a bit less. I don't know. So maybe it's not actually that busted. Still, that's a that's a mean deck. It's pretty insane. Like like it makes me wonder if it makes me want to like restrict things a little bit more. It feels like that it's a little it'd be a little bit too easy to get a crazy deck with shadow elves. Like I wonder if there could even be something like mean down the line where it's like if you pick shadow elves or some other like deck that's better in this format like. 
half the time you only have two cards to pick from instead of three or something. Um, yeah, I'm sure they could make something like that. Yeah, it'd be, be complicated. We gotta believe. Mm. We're, gonna, we're gonna take Sarah down. He's not gonna know what's here. Let's see what I get. All right, let's think about my long game because now that I'm looking at a low health Celeste, I'm like, cool. I'm glad I did that first because that's a common for the archer. Slip by is kind of useless, so I guess I just play the rest of this deck. I gotta get Blarf. By the way, do I have soon. background noise? Uh, no, no, you sound good. Awesome. Or I, I I heard something like shifting around a little bit ago, but like that's yeah. I I I, I do that. I do that too. <laughs> My partner's setting up. Uh, we did a bunch of mopping before the summoner wars, and she's setting up the uh cat litter for the for our cats. Okay, good. <laughs> right. She's just looking at me like what. The cat litter, of course, it was for the cat. What the hell else would it have been for? You see, you've 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 said too much. <laughs> Cats, Midi Kairu. Midi Kairu can go on the deck, right? I wish I'd. I don't see why not. That. I just I, I want boosts. <laughs> nice. I look at like a bajillion events up. Don't know. Don't know what's going on there. It is uh, Sanctity, Loyalty, and Holy Judgment all in one. <laughs> it, it's funny, yeah, because last turn, the, the Holy Judgment and the Loyalty, all they did was buff the Archer. Um, it's still pretty good. Ugh. If you kill another, if you one shot another archer, ah, oh, you're you're gonna do it too. I'm gonna lose this game. <laughs> Come on, I need a big miss. Ooh. That was not it. <laughs> I love this you know, glory caller sitting in the back doing nothing. <laughs> I gotta give Citadel Archer some credit. Oh, you have to force. If you use Warren. Yes, they changed that. <laughs> Chucks. Chucks. <laughs> well, I guess I'll I guess I'll shift her back one. Why not? Guess guess you're there now. I'm here now. So next turn Sanctity is gone. So I Correct. don't really want Celeste to die. Makes but sense. Then again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> In chat, someone says Citadel Archer better than Border Archer, apparently. I mean, that's what it's looking like. I think Watered, Water D had a essay on how Citadel Archer's ability is way better. And how they had to change it uh, in playtesting. 
Interesting. Yeah, I've I've heard that that it went from the best common in the game to the worst common in the game. It's kind of come back yeah. now. It's better in deck building where I have more commons to. Yeah. To boost it. I th I think it's underrated in base too. Personally, like I like it's not it's not great. It's definitely below average, but like it, it has its uses. Like especially in the early game, it can really pop off. Yeah, I mean, even if you just give it one fuel, that's a 2-5. That's a pretty normal stat line. And you don't have to attack with it if you don't want to. Yeah, and it, but like, it seems like it's pretty easy to get it to 2, and then it's, th it's a 3-5, and so and that's, that's pretty insane. Um, uh... I want the Temple to Priest, I think, was overrated for a long time. Because people really? we were like, it's a zero uh, coster, and then they came out with better zero costers. Yeah, I've I've just never used them <laughs> or wanted to. <laughs> okay, let's live life on the edge a little bit with Celeste. Like whatever. You want to roll a bunch of dice on me, go go for it. Um Sure. Yeah, you know what though? Let's let's make this a dancer. Might as well use all the moves. All right, that's that's decent. All right, or or this could be a Vlox deck. Man, there's there's so many, <laughs> so many decks I would have wanted to make. We just had Halloween, right? Celeste is trying on all the different costumes. Yeah, I mean, okay, after spending after spending this entire time doing nothing but talking down my deck, I'm just I'm setting myself up for. For the underdog comeback. Gonna take the whole journey. Ooh. You're at 10 magic. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, it it registered in some part of my subconscious brain, but not the conscious one. You know? Um Ooh. Yeah, seven magic's pretty good. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little. Um, not not too much. And magic. A rare case where I think Titus is good. Thank you, Priest, for your sacrifice. You were exactly what I needed there. I, I I win something for calling that. That that was pretty good. It looks like, looks like we are we we are the last we are the last game that is not finished. Really? All these all these losers playing assassination games. Never heard of Damn. Econ Wayfarers. <laughs> um, For shame. <laughs>
I'm deciding if I want to build a gate or not. I could put, I'll, I'll narrate it for the audience. I could put it uh, right next to my advisor and cut off that lane. But I kind of want the magic because I just spent it all on Titus. And you don't yeah. have, you don't have Seek the Horizon in this deck. I do which not. makes a big difference. So I don't think I'm going to. If you had Seek the Horizon, I'd block that off for sure. We yeah. still have a Citadel unit on the field, so Sarah's Citadel Knight is still going to work. So we'll attack with that. Two. Unsurprisingly, I want the Knight. Renora's talking about they they beat level three, um, but they're saying they they pooped their pants multiple times. They Ooh. want they want someone else to have to face him. Um, what's what's their deck? Uh, Shadow level three. <laughs> yep that that makes sense. <laughs> that's that's all you need to know. <laughs> what deck's Grenor? It's the only one not listed here. Um, I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to click on the link. I would do so since you're taking your turn. Yeah, let me know. Uh, uh Mountain like... Margin. Ooh, interesting, interesting. If I could pivot to assassination here, So six here, different would, factions but... for the six players. That's that's what you're looking for. Yeah, it'd definitely be cool to have some format at some point that like we're drafting with the same set of cards, but that also might be complicated and like. I don't know. I mean, it could be fun. Like, there's only four border archers or something. Um, yeah. But that could also be, like, not Try to, fun. like, like, grab them first. Yeah. If like, there's only four undead carriers, it kind of just, like, kills them. Like, who's going to play them? Okay, I, I, should, I need to I need to play faster. We're, we're the last. Um, border but then archer. If no, one's, if no one's taking undead carriers, you might as well take <laughs> them. Especially if you're, exactly. like, in the... If you're, like, the last one in the draft or the first one in the draft, if it's Snake... And you get two picks at once. Uh huh. You can grab two undead carriers, and even if they hate draft the other two, you know you at least have two to recur. So it's not yeah, as bad yeah. as one. Yeah. All right. Somehow, if you're gonna... playing cold act, you might not even need the recursion. You just want them for spore carriers. For the uh, mm. release spores, I mean. Yeah. All right, we're 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 gonna continue wow. to live life on the edge here. Why am I protecting Smeg? This is fine. Um, yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> like, I really need this one health Smeg to live forever. Whatever. Um, this is this is how we win. Uh, Celeste is Celeste is staying at four health. I, I think <laughs> at at this point. Okay, you you are out of cards. So may, may, maybe maybe the econ is still possible. Maybe I shouldn't sell myself short. Um, too late to keep Celeste safe now, though. Um, oh, you have Protect on Titus. Oh, Titus is gross. He's not that good in High Elks, because they have such good champions otherwise, but I think in Vanguards, he has a lot more strength. Yeah. Also, my other two champs to pick were bad. So I was like, I guess I'll go with them. Yeah. Even Smeg round. That extra attack. I mean, it's been huge. Extra dice here and there. It makes a big difference. Yeah, I feel like Smeg and Cave Goblins, I usually, I'm like, ah, seems mid. But then, like, in any other deck, it's like the extra attack is so good. It feels so good.
He just joined. Uh, looks like Grenor. I, I I told people they're they're welcome to come come spectate us. Nice, welcome. Uh, someone, I need I need I need someone else. I I I think I'm predicting in the near future. Level three, doing a full breakdown of how trash my deck is, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited for it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, I got some options here. Yeah. That's another pretty inane statement, but it's true. <laughs> I mean, so sometimes in the end game, it's not that much. And then there's the, except the one decision that you made that makes you lose. Yeah. And you you play chess, you've said, so you're kind of used to. I do. The, that was the, the like, first the... board game I ever got into, trying to be my dad. <laughs> yeah, it's too it, it's overwhelming for me, like how deterministic it is. Like I feel like I need to be thinking so far ahead, and like that just bogs me down. We'll do this. Make sure I have that Citadel unit out to get some recursion. And then just hit things. All right, I like the part where Celeste isn't dead. That is nice. I couldn't get I couldn't get four attack on her on this turn. Hopefully, the advisor pings her down and forces a retreat. Three health. Could be worse. What's three health. Three health is easy. Sarah's still at nine. It's a problem. Do I want to warn Sarah forward? Block the summoning spot. Yes, because gang up is going to be a problem if I don't. I liked it better the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, eager adventure, archer, border archer, chant of entangling is kind of good. Ooh, interesting. Um, well, oh, I could kill that that's, dancer that's by moving the, away from Titus. Sorry, <laughs> that's one of the really good combos that uh, deck boats of Van Elves have. <laughs> I'm just trying to make Savannah helps. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> They're the best every... faction, in my opinion. They're my favorite faction right now. Of course, you want hey, to make them. I should have. Uh, I should have done so many things. Um, Smeg should not be around right now. <laughs> um, you could always just discard her. Yeah, well, like, I, I wish I had done that last turn. Oh, I can't play both of those units. I don't have the magic for it. All right, this is fine. Um, 
This is in fact. Okay, right, now I know. I know three of the eight cards you still have left. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, let's just punch you, I guess. Um, Four of the eight cards. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Celeste's still gonna be shooting. Yeah, Celeste is shooting. Um, this is fine. This is great. Um, I'm so sad that this Smeg isn't doing anything. In fact, let's... Should I force Smeg to... do something? Um... Do I really want to be... Like, can I really afford to keep Smeg alive, though? I, I, I cannot. I mean, sunk cost, but, uh, yeah. No. No way I'm paying for Smeg this turn. Mistakes were made. Um, How many turns have you had Smeg up? Like, too many. I mean, Smeg's been every turn that Smeg gets an attack, I'm happy. Um, a while. I, I I would need to go back and see. All right, get getting out the damage. Big damage. Hey. All right, Smeg, you're dead to me. Um. Do, do I need to discard anything? Nah, I might. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nah, this is fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop it. Yeah. <laughs> this game it's 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 a very long game too it's just i feel like it'll be every one of my games of just just trying to get to the end game uh the the link is in the spreadsheet if you can yeah here I'll, I'll grab it for you too got him I, I look the way to paste the link, and I think I'm about ready to concede. <laughs> that, was, that was what I kept hesitating on for so long, was trying to get K2 out without breaking up my uh, Dude. Citadel's Might engine. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you let him put two champs out? <laughs> you you want to... So... <laughs> Level three, I, I think you might need to go through my entire deck and just roast me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that might be an order here. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's, um, see, let's see what the heck we're doing here. It's, it's, um, it's, it's not, it's not ideal right now. All the it's cards great. Are messed good. me up. Yeah? How, how is, how is Grinner doing? I, I, I haven't seen the game. He he he's playing MV good stuff, which is great. Love it. Yeah. Um and I I was I was able to successfully pull off full boosted Katu turn one, middle of the game not turn one, but like turn three, middle of the game. So you wow, made about your that. freaking Katu deck? Are you kidding me? I had to pivot. I had to <laughs> pivot, Ben. I didn't draw any blood summons. Okay, so I made what, the Katu what? deck. <laughs> How's it with Malder? No, 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 no. Just, just Selenar off like regular interaction pings. You know, I put in mages and I put in knights, um, and then I and then I swap. I have one blood shaman in there that I drew, and I use that to shift all the boost off of Cell onto Katu the turn that he's played. So I just, you know, it's good.
pretty funny deck. Fantastic. It's, well, it's funny that you just you like made that you like came up with that idea recently, and you were able to make it in this format of all things. Well, I started the Shadow Elves draft, right? It's like, all right, I'm taking every Undead Warrior because I'm going to get Blood Summon and I'm just going to win games. And then after I got like my last event, I'm like, oh, that wasn't a single Blood Summon. Uh, and then the next, and then the champs popped up. I'm like, oh, I can get Katu. Sweet. And then I'm drafting commons. I'm like, I have not seen a Blood Shaman yet. Last pick, I swear to you, is a Blood Shaman. I'm like, yeah, we can swing it. <laughs> So I had two call forths, so my entire thing was just, I'm going to pitch all of my commons, and I'm going to do the Katu play, and it did not pan out. That's really funny. Do you have any tomes? He... No, I didn't get any tomes. I had two <laughs> call forths, two stim shrooms, a death right, and a glinting speed. I do suck at dra I suck at draft skill diff. <laughs> I, my deck is it's something. I think it, it, it's interesting, like, when you get your events later, like, if you don't know what events you have in your deck, it, it makes it, I mean, it probably varies by summoner, but it makes it a lot harder to make the decisions. Yeah, for sure. Ben, what are you doing with four border archers and wayfarers? <laughs> It's Savannah yeah, keep, Elves. What are you talking keep, about? Keep, keep it coming. Look through. Look through the whole deck. Yeah, give me. Give, give, give me your your full take here. <laughs> like Border Archer is fine if you would have got one Martial Force, but you have two Battle Leader. I was just <laughs> like, oh, Martial Force would be good. Yeah, I didn't get any. Um, I also have no way of boosting the Border Archers because I passed up on the Spirit Mages. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> yeah, about just it. a two mana two four. <laughs> No, but I but uh, then but then I have glory callers. <laughs> so and they help. Two, Ben! <laughs> you have two glory callers. <laughs> they they they're not good units, but this isn't a good deck. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? To Battle so leaders slip things. by to attack for four because none of your units are allowed to move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because border archer is kind of a non bow with wayfarers when you think about it. Because it, it it like you're not really moving with it, huh? Yeah. So so round two, Ben, you discard all. <laughs> you did three of your four archers. You keep one for the entangling play, and that's it. How do you only have one adventurer, my guy? <laughs> what do you mean only one adventurer? Adventures are bad value. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wayfarers? They're they're it's a it's a three cost for two magic. It's not it's not good stats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ben 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 Ben. Yeah ben. yeah okay. yeah. No, here's listening. here's all you need in this format, right? Entangled uh -huh. adventurer plus coordinate is a eight dice attack. Okay. Entangled adventure, Boom. yeah, that would be pretty good. I I wish that's I... it. That's all you need. <laughs> I think w w what I wish I had set up more is um, like, like if I had done like a zero cost build with like dagger and airy gates and like put a sneak in there or something. I don't know. I kept That'd passing cool. up on zero costs. I think anything other than what I did would would have been cool. <laughs> it, you deserve it's, it's to a, lose to Titus. Is all I gotta say. You, you, <laughs> it's it's a learning experience. Um, God, this this game is like it's really just on the precipice of like. I am like, so close to being ready to concede, but just not quite. Like, <laughs> there I have faith in I have faith in this. <laughs> we can get there. We can get there. If you have some wombo combo uh, off that four health gate, now's your chance. Um, it's good. It's good that you pointed that out. In fact, I don't. But I wasn't thinking about that gate. Just a nine health Sarah. Like I'm not. I'm not doing anything to that. You know. This. We're, we're we're screwed. 
Glory Caller is kind of bad when it's not in the deck. I don't even think it's necessarily good in Mountain Varga. <laughs> I think it's I think it's pretty good. But people have definitely been debating it. It's a weird card. God damn it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, so, like, are all synergy decks just kind of, like, worse for drafting because Mountain Vargath exists? Real powerful, um, out of shit. Uh, yeah. Everything about this is powerful. All right. We're almost there. We're almost Sorry, ready. I had to go, what kind of take is that? <laughs> all synergy decks worse because of MV. Because you're saying but, Glory but... Caller isn't because good. Because the comp, well, because all their commons aren't really playable outside of MV. Like, are any of their commons? Mm. Would you take any common? I guess it's only two that are synergy, actually. I don't think... S I mean, Slinger's bad, but I don't think it's terrible, right? Would you ever take... Are you ever taking a 1 Magic 2-2 two -two in deck building? So, are we talking, like, legit deck building or drafting? Because they're, they're different in, things, in, right? In, 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 in drafting. In drafting. Because, like, with... Because they all, like, I mean, like, I think MV is great in the events that it gives, right? Battle Leader and Martial Forces are both really solid. And I think Glory Caller is just the little bit of movement people don't expect, but generally a bad unit, I'll agree. <laughs> all right. Um, my last card is a Glory Caller. I think I'm going to go ahead and say this one is, this one is done. <laughs> Uh, GG Siabata. Uh, sorry to sorry to keep Again, everyone man. waiting. <laughs> oh no, Ben! Stuff. You almost had him on time. <laughs> nine nine fifty five at the end, right? Yeah, that's what I am. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, let's do another round. Hopefully, we can get. To, so so we're trying to be done in less than two hours at four eastern hopefully we can get two more games in i'll try to I'll yeah to go a bit faster i i yeah. have to i have to bounce anyway ben so i think it, it okay. works out okay. fine uh because you guys can just do the last two two and then everyone can play sounds, and that'll be cool sounds good sounds good but thank you so much i hope we do this more in the future and thanks everyone for participating it was rad thanks for coming thanks for organizing this nice meeting you yeah absolutely bye all right, so it looks like we got, um, got three winners and one loser. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, that, that really, that really is, it really is how it's, um, <laughs> how how it's shaping out. Uh, I guess I'll just determine it randomly again, uh, because yeah, there's there's no there's no winners face winners right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the losers just quit. Maybe I should quit too. No. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, with with each of us only as three opponents. So if there's three rounds, we'll each play each opponent once. Yes, math. So the, the order doesn't really matter too much. Because if like yeah. if Ben Ten plays uh, Cheras this yeah, time, you'll play Grinor next time, or vice versa. Uh, sweet. Well, uh, who do you, you you guys you guys have a preference as to who you face? I don't. Care. I think random's fine. Yeah. Just like there's no, um, depending on there's no way need to lose sleep over which way it goes because it will yeah, even yeah. out to the same thing. All right, I found my I promise I have a system in my head right now, and we're doing. Do do that. Well, that would have been. All right, we're doing. Wait, no, that's the same thing. Oh wait, it just has to be me against. Okay, we're we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, Siabata versus Cheras. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, and so that means Grenor versus me. Write that in. Yeah, math is hard. Um, all right, let me, let me make the link. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll try to, try to get this one done in like 45 minutes as well. Sounds good. And I will 
I will hop over to a different table. I'll 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 see you guys see you guys in the next in the next round. Sounds good. See ya. Uh, do, do, do. Um, let me make another get game. The deck. The deck is. We've we've made mistakes, but we're learning. Uh, what we're learning is we shouldn't have. <laughs> we shouldn't have. I don't know. We should have done Krask or something. <laughs> uh. And I'm chatting to myself and a stream right now, Grinora, but I'll I'll mute myself so you don't have to hear my ramblings this entire time. <laughs> and I'll I'll unmute every time I'm mad. <laughs> um but I I say the link, so go ahead and accept whenever you're ready. And there it is. There's our game. Uh, let's let's do it. All right, we're going first this time. We're I I see card. All right, let, let, let's take a look at Grenor's deck. Um. All right, taking a look at your deck, we got stages and sentinels. All right, you got the combo. You got everything's displayed in a weird order for some reason. Um. The good stuff is good stuff, as level three said. Yeah, it seems like you just got a lot. You got the, you got the axe, got the martial forces, got the art, got the archers. I mean, yeah, seems seems solid. Seems like good deck. Probably beat you with the value game. All right, I'm gonna take my turn. All right, so I think we just go up. Um, and I mean, this is this is what we want. So. We're chilling, and I mean we could slip by in to finish off the brute. Honestly, not even a terrible take. Um, then I could put the. I mean, I could also slip by to go anywhere I wanted on the entire map. Um, uh, if I want to put the gate somewhere else, the gate here is pretty good. Um, what if I steal their summoning spot? Is that is that worth it for slip by? Probably. Or, or I, I steal this forward gate spot. Um We still the root is gonna like kill our Voyager. And that's not gonna be fun. But and, and now and now Celeste is exposed on that side. Maybe we just hold slip by, honestly. I don't know. I'm not I'm not too that 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 play doesn't seem crazy to me. Slingers plus brutal force combo is there. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. All right, and we and we got the smoke bomb for later too. It'll be good, and we'll discard some stuff. It'll be great. <laughs> and we're gonna kill this guy anyway, right? Right? But yeah, we're in there. This is where we want to be with the wayfarers. Um, oh, we're out of. Hmm. <laughs> we we can't smoke bomb the dancer. I absolutely should have just slipped by it in here and then smoke bomb the dancer. That would have been so good. Um, 
And yeah, let's just let's just let's just build. Um double slip by. Ugh, gross. Yeah, there's a better play there. Um because then smoke bombing the dancer would be so good. And I could have killed the brute if I had just slipped by it in. I should have just done what I did and then slipped by. That that would have been it. Uh, I wonder what Dex Cheres the bot I've taken. Oh. Do -do. I'm gonna post the game link really quick. Sorry, you can't see for a second. Oh, maybe I could even, eh, no, just really quick, really quick. Good stuff. All right, so they moved around and we're in a bit of tough times, but it's fine. Uh, Mechienda is good. It just, <laughs> I just want to have a value deck and it is just not what I made. <laughs> Did they just attack their own gate? No. Wait, did they? I'm sorry? Strange. Was that a misclick or something? Um. Uh, do, do, do. Um. Hmm, can slip by get in there anywhere? To get us to there. Um, I feel like I do want to nab that gate spot. Oh, but I can't actually play slip by this turn. So I guess we don't nab that gate spot. Or Celeste just attacks. Um, that's fine too. This is fine. Um, prepare. Use the splash damage to kill the smoke. Oh, genius. Genius. I'm like a misclick or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Clever, clever. That's that's very good. Um, all right, let's hit it. Hoping for this six on fire. That'd be really nice. I'm like, we, we've, we've locked down their gates and whatnot. So that's nice. That's what we want to see. Um, no, <laughs> we wanted to kill that. All right, at this point, I want tempo, so I am going to discard one slip by. And one second, I'm just going to plug something in. We got this. Easy. We're just gonna try to block them off. Hope the entangling combo comes with an archer and a and a um whatchamacallit. Ah, uh, the one adventure we have. <laughs> Uh, Berserker damaging Celeste. Soon to avoid getting in there. I need to practice drafting with different decks. Or I just gotta like. I gotta look at every deck and just know like. 
or even before like if it's a deck that i'm not used to building i just i need to i need to look at all the cards and think about like what the goal is this doesn't happen again and maybe we do this as an event like bi-weekly or something because if it's every week i don't think people can make it but if it was every two or three weeks then it's like ooh, a big, a big exciting thing the key is to know what the cards do uh couldn't agree more i feel like in my case the key is like <laughs> to not pick the cards that aren't actually good for your deck. Uh, Border Archers and Celeste was a bad take. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I see Border Archers and I pick them all. Uh, it was not, I mean, Border Archers plus Entangling plus Eager Adventure is apparently good, but Alright. I mean, as long as we can hold onto these gate spots, we could even have an archer take down both slingers if we got lucky. <laughs> I see. Make good picks. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I, well, I think for me it was like just not knowing... <laughs> like just not being familiar with building this particular summoner. Ooh, no, you're gonna steal my spot back! It's so mean. Like, like if... I don't know. Like just knowing like what sort of combos work well um like just knowing that border edger is not it in celeste <laughs> all right this is looking hairier by the second i have to admit um coordinate could be pretty good Um, we could have an archer. If only I could get Celeste up there. Um, we could have an art like we could have Celeste. I don't think I have my brush. Why don't I have my brush? Um, uh, like if if we could get like I don't know. If only we could get like Celeste here with the slip by and then slip out and then an archer. Attacks. Um, not quite gonna work like that. Uh, uh -uh. Tangling does freaking nothing. <laughs> oh, the glory caller could do it. The glory caller. Wait. Can't, no, the glory caller just pushes. No, it it can push your summoner. Um. But that's actually not going to do it. But, like, it's close. <laughs> it is close um, to getting to kill that one slinger. Big payoff. Um, if only we had, like, a waypoint or something so Celeste could, like, steal that spot and then that would actually mean something. Not feeling super great. Maybe we just steal this spot back um and i mean we could slip by to steal this spot but that's kind of asking for it in the bad sense i think we just stay right where we are honestly and just take it um Whatever, it's kind of a mid-turn, but we'll set up. We'll get some better cards in here. And I think we ditch the entangling, ditch the caller. 
Do I still have good stuff in the rest of this deck? Yeah, that's all great. All good. All good stuff. I want to stock the Abada and Cheris, but then it's like, no, I should probably focus on the one game. It is a live game. Uh, I can I can afford to keep my eyes on it. All right, we got double coordinate. Double collar. We finally got the adventure on the turn we discarded the entangling. Kind of hate myself right now. Um. Ah. Ah. Gross. Now we want. And the slinger is good. Ah. Not, not a fan of any of this. Um, we could get Celeste all the way there and kill that one adventure. I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> we could get Celeste behind Sundervid. That seems like a death sentence. With a glory caller, we could get Celeste behind Sundervid. That really seems like a death sentence. And yet. <laughs> no, I know we couldn't because we need to spawn. I want to spawn. So I want to spawn an adventure here too to then steal a spot. Um, and we're trying to trap Sundervid. Yeah, it's not quite going to work to get behind. I mean, we could get here. Like, that forces. Pretty hefty response. Um, Lori Caller does something? Maybe? Not really. Um, we move here. We slip by. We coordinate. Isn't that good? No, this is great. This is great. I just have to believe. Um, if only. If only this was a little bit better and we could do something else, it's fine. Um, and we could like have this glory, glory caller definitely kill. If only we had a gate. <laughs> There's a lot of if onlys right now. Um, what do I need to do? Okay, because I have coordinate, I want to kill with the adventurer first, then we embark. Bloop. Um, all right. Take out that slinger. Very important. Huge. Alright, this is finally we're I, I feel like I'm playing Celeste. Alright, that's pretty huge. It's a good hit. Um I think I'm holding coordinate. And yeah. Hopefully we draw slip by or something. Okay. Well, hopefully Celeste doesn't die next turn. But we've definitely put a lot of pressure on and they can only summon in one. In one spot, so that's good. That is very good. And they got an adventure. Let's take a peek at their deck again. Such a, such a mess. Um, Battle Leader, Fury, Gesto, Mickeyender, Varn, Sage, Berserker, Archer. They, it's got, they got good stuff. The three fighters are interesting. Definitely. Uh, take. Oh, and I don't... Did, did, did I never show... Um, well, I'll show it after. I think I forgot to show the... The tables. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're playing games. 
Um, and yeah, it's it's either Grenor, Jack. It's either Grenor, Cheris, or Siabata will go three and zero. I think. Well, maybe not, because if whoever wins, if Siabata wins, yeah, no, they they whoever wins has to win one more game to go three and zero. Um. Close here. Let me. Yeah, there you go. Um, so close. Uh, I guess I don't have wins losses on there. It's also like isn't displaying the whole screen. Uh, cool. There we go. <laughs> Um, could do, could do wins losses here. Um, well, but let's let us let us let us watch the game. Uh, so they got an archer now boosted. They're trapped. They're trapped. They're where I want them. They're in a tough spot. We have to think hard about this gate placement and whatnot. They're they're going at it. <laughs> they're going for me. We've seen the border archer front. I mean, at that point, just get the slinger in and go, go ham. Just go full, just full send Celeste. You could kill Celeste right now, could you? Yeah, no, you couldn't. Yeah, you can. I mean, it'd be you have to get perfect walls though. <laughs> hey, hey, do you guys? Hey, hey, do you, you guys finish? Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> and who 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 took the crown? I got it with a, I got a lucky uh, holy judgment off of Intel, and I surrounded Krusk. Hey, <laughs> person down. That's that's Rest nice. You destroyed me. <laughs> got the. What what sort of Krusk deck did you build, Jarvis? Ah, uh, basically Krusk. Uh, Wait a, a bunch of structures. Hmm? <laughs> sorry, I just I just looked at the screen and I saw that Celeste had been dropped to one health. No, sorry, continue. <laughs> right, everything's fine here. <laughs> oh. that doesn't, the, uh, I mean, the, you have seven attack on her. Yeah, easy. Um, the only thing I heard was a bunch of structures, which sounds about right. Yeah, a bunch of structures and a bunch of uh, wind archers and gunners. Wind. Rangers? Oh, Rangers? interesting. 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 So, like, a, a Breakers, Krusk, sort of something. Yeah, yeah. I had, like... Very fundamental. Mm -hmm. I had a slip by. <laughs> this would be so good. But I don't. And so, <laughs> it's kind of bad. Um, I could... I have a... Well, I, I have a sniper in hand, so I could do... Oh, I could do nine dice. Oh, but I think nine dice. See about a math whiz. Is that it's less than a fifty, right? Nine on set. Nine range mm -hmm. dice on seven. Nine range dice on seven is a little less than a fifty. Mm, do I think I have a better chance if I just keep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'm just. I'm gonna plug it into the calculator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do we might. Uh, we could if we could get. I have a rogue in hand too. <laughs> I'm so Yep, 37. Sorry. 37. All right. That is in fact 37.1%. Crappy enough to convince me that that's a bad idea. Um uh, I'm so close yet so far to getting it. I just retreat and like place some gates like a loser. Uh. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm gonna like go out of my way to just like boost some border archers to try to. Oh, is there any way they could get to me here with like uh martial force after a uh, primal fury? Nah, it's fine. And you and I, I sent the game link if you guys want to spectate. It's in the. We're doing some. Over there. Good, good. Oh, and then I gotta coordinate. So we still, hey, we actually still do have, <laughs> we still do have the di dice, dice on lethal, um, or a, a potential, potential lethal here. Um, okay, one of our attacks goes to waste, but. What can you do? All right. Can we just can we get the win right here? Oh wait, the the sniper moved two spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, that that is what we call a skill issue <laughs> in in the biz. Uh, <laughs> Welp. It's all right. We're it was it was sort of the fear factor <laughs> we were going for there. Yeah, this game is much more of like what I would want, what I'd expect from from Wayfarers, but we're going to have to be able to finish it off, and I don't know if we're going to have what it takes. Not another gate. <laughs> Lock and Sundervet in. Interesting. I wonder if... There's a lethal here. I'm anticipating like a marsh of forces. Stronghold. That works. Yeah, that'll that'll save you. Uh, alright. It's gonna be hard to block all those gate spots. Hmm, I'm getting a little bit worried here. Slip by would be great right now. It's a shame. Uh, it's interesting. I think a few people did like Sentinel Sages in the, the tournament for Sundervid. It's it's not like a combo that I would expect. Like Airy Sentinel and Airy Sage together as the only two area units? Yeah, and, and those are the only two area units you can put in Sundervid. Um hmm. Yeah.
<laughs> Celeste just chilling at, chilling at one health over here. Don't mind her. Um, you know, I could just, let's just summon Voyager and Blarf. Oh wait, no, Blarf would just be damaged. Never mind. <laughs> let's just get in there. And we'll prepare our border archers, just like the slow game of preparing them all. There we go. That's big. Uh, wait, I don't want to break this gate. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll just leave it there. And... Looks good. Mm, don't you just lose Ben? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mm. want to say anything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> might have been, might have, might have missed something here. <laughs> might have been a critical. <laughs> takes a like a slight five minute turn. Slight miscalculation. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was part of a long game. You guys couldn't have. It's, it's pretty complicated. <laughs> Devil's uh, in the details. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, now we have two winners. True, true. For the next uh, round. I am I am excited to see to see how it goes. Um Yeah, so I guess Siavada versus Gnor and then Cheras versus Ben 10. Yep, yep. You see who see who takes the cake. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. Me against Supernor for the for the championship. For the champion match. If this is the last round. Yeah. Uh, I think it. I think it should be. That's that's everyone. That's all the matchups we can do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And that. And then we'll have one person. One person three and zero, oh, which is perfect. <laughs> yep. Yep. We good. All right. Sweet. I will. Jump in another table. I'll 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 see you guys at the end. Uh, be, be sure to post your link so I can like uh peek at it when we're while we're playing. All right. I uh, will see you later. And just a second while I set something up. Yo yo. Hey yo. Uh, just give me a quick second. Feel free to send me the link. The loser's bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I was distracted that last turn too. I was sending someone a message, and then <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was a that was a big skill issue. <laughs> um, do, do, do. And let me see. So, yep. So we got Renor. Yep, we got the everything set up there. And check my desk. Oh, you might have. If you posted the invite link, the the game link is different. Okay, I'll delete that one. Yeah. Um. 
this is this is fun it, it's it's fun to because i feel like there, there's a lot of skill to building or, or, or to like to actually building the deck um i think i have failed drastically uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like it, it, it adds, it adds something to the picture. Uh, can I do something cool here? Let's see. Let's think. Maybe. No, one space too. One space too far. Burn hot. What I lose? Oh no, a rider. Riders suck. <laughs> See, I didn't go first, and that's 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 a problem. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I would honestly rather play base Wayfarers than what I built. <laughs> <laughs> just like the pieces just don't come together. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And I don't have Seek the Horizon. I don't have waypoints. And I like only have like one or two Voyagers. I have three I Voyagers. All right. Oh, you got Ice Golems? How many scavengers do you have? You have three scavengers, wind mages. It seems good. It seems good. I think so. Uh... Yeah, like that. All right. Um... Interesting. This is very interesting. Um... I think vanguards plus peace is uh enough to make me not want to play deck build i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> that's enough to uh, you're never gonna see me again <laughs> yeah how did it did, did it feel like an impossible sort of late game or how, how did that game go it was more a mid game it was um he just had like a very nice uh piece plus vanguard plus uh that phoenix elf event which makes you take one damage when you attack them and the next thing I knew, everything was just, uh, I was killing myself, just attacking. <laughs> uh, and the next yeah, turn, I was yeah. dead. It was, uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> I think Crust could have been positioned better. but Yeah, that, that is definitely rough. Okay, this is the sort of turn, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking out the arrows for this turn. Um, Celeste, believe it or not, is going a lot of spaces right now. Um, and then Voyager goes there. Okay, so if Voyager kills that then the bandit can move up and kill and attack krusk that's pretty funny um or i could try to deal with this rider i don't think i care about this rider um all right let's do that All right, I got, uh, don't worry about it, three move phase events. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! That's a cool turn. Uh, it's well, pretty sweet, so, <laughs> yeah, no, I... Oh, crap, no, this doesn't work, because the Voyager needs to... <laughs> no, <laughs> the Voy I wanted the Voyager to get right beneath Celeste. Um, okay, um, well, we can salvage this, surely. Um, just like, uh, we just kill the rider. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if I had a gate in hand or something, uh, cool. yeah, this is, this is, this is good. I kill a bunch of things. Um, that familiar is pretty good. It's a nice card. 
I haven't thought about it much just because I haven't done much of our gas. Come on! No! The worst! The worst! <laughs> uh, 0 for 2, 0 for 2. You haven't rolled any, uh... No! <laughs> Oh, uh, what a turn. Oh, uh, this is that's okay. great. I don't know I don't know what people were saying. Like <laughs> <laughs> great, great deck. Oh oh jeez. Scared. Do, do, do. Oh. So I haven't gotten to chat with you much since you've since you gotten back. Yeah, no, we had uh, um sorry. Yeah, no, however, things. Things are going well. Just came back from vacation last week. Uh, getting back into the grind of things with work. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, no, can't complain. Things are going well. How, how was the vacation? It was a lot of fun. Uh, went to Croatia, which is like surprisingly cheap this time of the year. Like interesting. Go, going to so I'm I've mostly lived in cities. I've mostly lived in Dallas and uh, New York City. Um, and going to Europe, like, food is so much cheaper <laughs> than it is here. <laughs> like, ridiculously. Uh, Interesting. A lot cheaper. I wonder. Between riders and ice. Yeah, I've not, not been to Europe in a, in a long time since I was a kid, really. Where did you go to? I, uh, as a kid, uh, we, we went, went to Paris and then also also Venice, I think. Not cool. Point. Yeah. But like like very, very distant memories. <laughs> Paris is very nice. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I need to find an excuse to like live somewhere in Europe for a few years or something. No, hundred percent. I think it's so No, it's it's very pipe dreamy. It's it's hard to figure out how well, no, what are you gonna say? Oh, just a lot more relaxed, I think, in terms of like work. Also, like people just like, you know, they take their time with a lot of things, which is so nice to see compared to, really? I think like Interesting. sometimes the US, it's like work, 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 which is good. But at the same time, sometimes, you know, it gets too much and you get yeah. burnt out. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm. I don't know how I get three good attacks here. I'm, I'm placing a gate to annoy you. Um, <laughs> Oh, th oh, that's how. I, I use the bandit. Okay, so the solution to doing this deck... Oh, and then I can embark. Oh, great. Okay. That worked out. Um, the solution to doing this deck is just don't play my border archers, because they were a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> use them as magic. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's what I'm realizing. All right. Also, need to hit better than that. Uh, order is only magic. Yeah. What were you saying? Oh, I was wondering if gunners were only on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Units um, in there. Do we discard heavy? Yeah, we do. Discard everything. Eh, maybe <laughs> I don't do that. Eh, no, that's great. That's great. All right, what am I scared of here? Wait, no, it's the wrong positioning. It's not like this. And like this. And then. Like this, 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 and poor Crust can get hit once. <laughs> That's, I sacrificed yeah. the start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only I had some border archers, huh? <laughs> you and your scavengers. Yep, yep. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Tragic. <laughs> that That's pretty sweet. I am a fan. <laughs> uh, 
Do I want these? Probably not, to be honest. Cool. All right, I drew another border archer. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in there. Um, I guess I just attack with Celeste. I was gonna do something else. Um, I guess not. Um, oh, I, I need the other move to prepare. Okay, this is fine. Doop, doop, doop. And this bandit goes... Okay, no, I do I do actually have another move. Um, okay, maybe just another border archer will get prepared. <laughs> Can never be too prepared. <laughs> like, I, I have to, like go out of my way to like think about <laughs> or just like just like set up the border archers so they can they're so much harder to use when you don't have a boa just tossing out boosts left and left yeah, and right. yeah true they're more like turrets they have the same place Alrighty. Hmm. What's left in my deck? A bunch of crap. Alright, good. Good stuff. Let's see. Definitely. See Abada posted. Go ahead. I got see Abada to post the link. <laughs> so see see what's going on with them. Uh okay. Gosh darn it, why is it so <laughs> well this doesn't really work. Uh there we go. There there's the game. Uh looks like uh, see about it about to lose. <laughs> uh, I, I see a, a a three health uh, Sarah up against a bunch of boys. I mean, it's not over. Um, see about a could have a late game still. Looks like Grenor might be taking the championship here. Ooh, we will see. Exciting. Put in a nice five health unit next to my. Thing that can attack for a bunch. I like it. Mm -hmm. You gonna build something in between Krusk and that archer? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's the wrong place. Uh... No, is it? That's probably the right place, actually. <laughs> Wait, I kind of do need to, don't I? Because you have that one card. Do do do. Sad. Sad. <laughs> resigning myself. <laughs> Wait, that no, does. Wait. Resigning myself. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> uh. eh? All right, I do need to sort of be wary that you don't like kill me with some nub. <laughs> Hmm. That gate's mean. I have two border archers <laughs> over there. I can't get value out of them. Yeah, this is too slow. Yeah. Get rid of it. Sweet. Um... The problem about this node is I've never been able to get good value off detonate. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, like it's such, but the game's just like, things die too quickly. Because people have like yeah. such good combos. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what... Like, maybe maybe somehow there's some, like, parapet reclaim build that gets to just, like, survive for a while. Um, I'm not sure. Um, okay, Celeste needs to not die. And also... No, Celeste can die, that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's go here, here, and here. Oh, I guess that's all my moves. Well, that's fine. Ugh. Come on, come on, miss, miss, miss. Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ah, well, now I wish I had boosted that archer up there. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one thing, one for me. And what do I discard? Glory callers, because they're garbage? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like I kind of needy units, but then again, I do like the sound of a bunch of big lads. Uh. Nah, hold I'll hold these. Uh, regret. Something like this. As long as you don't kill me, we're, we're chilling. <laughs> I don't think it's I can like... kill you. Maybe. I can do this yeah. amazing play. Look at that. Nine health. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, that, that is how that works, isn't it? Oh, that's yep. stupid. That's dumb. <laughs> Dumb. I kind of hate that. <laughs> it is just heal your summoner for two. Exactly. If you, it, huh? That's interesting. It makes me want to. Makes me want to deck. If you get parapets in there, that could be something crazy. Yep. Um. All right. Siabata managed to get away to safety, but there might be some sort of Varn play to heal him. Anyways, we'll have to see. What's the play here? Hmm. How many spaces away is it? Two? Feeling like there's gotta be. Grinnard's gotta have the kill here. Marshall forces. There's got it. This is this has got to be it. This has got to be the last turn. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what sort of tricks <laughs> that they have. Oh, I need to hit dismiss on advance. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. <laughs> and then Marshall forces Varn, and then Sentinel comes in for four dice on Sarah, and that is it. Grenor <laughs> takes takes the championship. Oh, nice. Congrats to him. Yeah, for sure. Um, Congrats okay. to him. So. Have to go for the greedy, greedy plays. I'm like stuck in a corner here. Come on, two. <laughs> God, not... Yeah, you sort of made your own corner. <laughs> so I don't feel that bad for you. <laughs> uh, you're going up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's bad. You go up. No, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and then give me my corner. My <laughs> little corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, sound like that. Find this amusing. All right, discarding you, Den Knight. Den Knight's trash, trash card. Trash card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're getting in there this time. Um, we got battle leader. No oh, baby. All the way over there. We got three units on that side. We got the gang up over here. Um, looking couldn't couldn't be better. Um, until the dice get rolled. Yep, yep. <laughs> all right. This this is gonna hit. No, 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 no. This is gonna hit. This is gonna ah. Yes. <laughs> 
No. Oh. <laughs> all right. And then, all right. At least we got something. All right, both valleys are down. Got to think about the positives. positives. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Hopefully we can kill it. No, expand it, you know. No! Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we got a lot I of magic. Cool. You going to have a cool turn? Yeah. I don't like the sound of that. Um... <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I feel like I got to hold these. Um... No, definitely not there. Uh... Hello. E hey hey. That that I I I saw the very end of that game, uh, and it was. <laughs> It, it was nice. I, I'm not so familiar with Martin Vargath, but I just, I saw you moving up and I saw a barn and I was like, there's got to be something. There's got to be a kill here. Um, you you are the very first champion of uh, Draft Mania. Which really needs a better name. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey. We, I, I caught the, the tail end of that game. It seemed crazy. <laughs> oh, man. That that gosh darn fighter with the axe, nine damage. <laughs> yeah. So what what ha I I missed that turn. How how did that unfold exactly? Grinor got a health force jacks on a fighter and then just kept rolling specials. I had my <laughs> yes. um, I had my dream. my uh summoner surrounded by common units on all sides. I'm like they're not gonna get through that. Uh, kills the knight in one shot, rolls lightning, bounces, does five damage or four damage. Um, rolls lightning again, bounces, take down my Arbiter of Peace for good measure, because there is no peace in this land. Pops <laughs> back over and hits me for another four or five. I spent oh, a turn, I goodness. took a turn to run away, but I didn't play my Renewed Hope, because I wanted to save it. Um, yeah. Immediately after Varn shows up, and um, they use martial forces to get Varn in yes, to get a yes, yes. in with, <laughs> with the uh, plus one from Sundervid and making it from a three three sword that was iffy to a four sword that that hit three out of four. That is awesome. I'm I'm watching the the fighter turn right now. It, does it just keep going and like no rerolls or anything? No, nope. and it misses the piece, and then it just keeps going. <laughs> oh my god! I, I was like, I, I saw the fighter in there, and I was like, I don't know if fighter's the play for Sundervid. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I. It's like I can't even be mad. I want. I yeah. keep. I keep being the bridesmaid, and not the bride, but I can't be mad because it, it was just so magnificent. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I, I missed I missed the start of I'm I'm gonna go back to the start of the turn where Cheris goes. Uh to see this. Alright, this is the, the the losers cup championship or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even think it works that way, but it's fine. <laughs> it's gotta be some stake here. <laughs> Whoa, Celeste is kinda low on health. What what did that's that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, <laughs> no, I need those. How all right, much? I need to not just like die out of the blue this time around. <laughs> all right, got some guys. No. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> just stretching. Gotcha. <laughs> Dead. Um. All right, this is fine. We'll 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 leave that gate open. I'm not worried. All right, what I am worried about is 
everything else that's happening. Um, huh, if, if I could just get another... That border archer shooting would be really nice. That's eh, fine. It's fine. Um, you have another thruster in here. You do have moto boots. Okay, so if you build something... No, that's not how it works, because you couldn't build phase and then put moto boots on it. So we are... 100% guaranteed to be safe this turn. Absolutely nothing could get us. Yep, yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. You sure you don't want to footwork the, with the dancer? Think about it. It's a good play. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't like your tone of voice. There. <laughs> uh, I can do some cool stuff. I'm not sure. What's the play here? Oh, I think I have a shot that... of killing you, but the question will. No, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to hear. Let me, let me see if I can spot it. Just looking at your deck, like. Like a, maybe a wind mage something? I don't know. It's tough. Let's think. A gunner? Yes, a gun. Well, yeah, if you had like a gunner and a rider in hand, oh. you could just like kill the bandit and then push the rider. Because the problem is you can only summon one thing, but then you could build the rider. All right, mm. Gunner Rider. That's my official take as to how you can kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Two riders oh. in the deck. Three gunners. Okay, so probably not. Possible. <laughs> um, well, did did we have a rider before this one? I think we did. Well, no, that was the starting rider. Um, there's a rider on the field. There's a rider. I think there was... Oh, retrieved a rust rider if we just go pile. Okay, so there might there might be more because we scavenged some too. We will see. I was thinking too hard about this actually. It's actually easier than I thought. This thing, Don't right? say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was this, right? You and then you just go. Oh wait! No! 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 Wait! Wait! wait. I need to do this you should burn. You should use burn hot right burn there. Burn hot right there. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> uh, that is how moto boots works, isn't it? Yeah. So I need a burn hot, and then no force, um, and I need to boost the speed. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to misplay something you can't take back. <laughs> exactly. That was a chance. Well. It looks like I, I'll be the only person that went over three. I think so. <laughs> that's that's gotta be something. Should I do the BM Archer? BM Archer. <laughs> can, can. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I hope you miss and that archer kills you. If you miss, I will settle for nothing other than that archer being the one to kill you. <laughs> Wait, no, I need to do this one. <laughs> yeah, be afraid. Be afraid. Shutting <laughs> out that archer. You got it. You no! know, he's he's out for blood. No! One for three right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh GG's, GG's. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Well, Fun. and let's let's pull this back up so it looks like the final final standings are ben 10 goes 0 and 3 i think level 3 just got one win see a body went two and one jexit got one loss uh grenor three and oh oh that's a four and then Cheris that was two and oh they're two and one two and one and grenor is our champion congrats congrats grenor yeah, that's, so how, did, it, did it in style too. <laughs> yeah, like a, a crazy, a crazy kill. Very good kill. You guys, you guys feel like how, how do you feel about drafting? Like how how was it for you? Happy with the decks that you made? Ton of fun. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. I I enjoyed it. Uh, good stuff. It's cool to yeah. 
I like it how you also you can't undo what you. Uh, it's like drafting, right? Where you you have to stick yeah. with the grave you made, yeah, <laughs> the bed you made. Yeah. What's the saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there anything you guys would like do differently with the rules of the tournament? I don't think so. Off the top of my head, I think it was it was good. Yeah, I can't I think, think of anything. That. Yeah. Yeah, I maybe, think just yeah. running, running more, figuring out the meta game. Yeah, that kind yeah. Of, it's pretty early to tell for a lot of things. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, because I could see like further down the line, certain cards get banned or like certain summoners have a handicap. But yeah, it's it's too early to do any of that. Um, yeah, I'm happy everyone chose a different uh, summoner. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, see. how are you guys feeling about the summoners you chose? Like, do you feel like? You feel like you could have built it better. Or you... it, Vanguards are fun. Yeah. I, I think that, uh, I wish that I hadn't gotten. I wish I would have played Renewed Hope and not just immediately got wrecked by Varn. But, <laughs> but that's a skill issue, as you said. <laughs> the yes, only yes, tournaments yes. that I've won so far have been the ones I've organized, which is not a look that I want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, let's see if I can maintain the just complete loss every single time when I organize a tournament. It's an impressive streak. <laughs> uh, how about so this, Sand Goblins? No, no accusations on you, Ben. That's for sure. <laughs> accusations of throwing after that deck that I built. <laughs> uh, how did the Sand Goblins feel, Charis? I think, in my opinion, let's say it was only three games. I think Sand Goblins feel really good if they just didn't have Detonate. <laughs> like, if you could replace Detonate with, like, another, I'd be super happy. But, like I said, I've only played three games. And maybe if it was a longer game, I'd really appreciate Detonate. But, like, the ability for your summer to reorganize your units um, very easily. Um, and just the Sand Goblins units in general, like, upgrades are just so nice. Thruster, yeah. Yeah. I know it's not even that big, but when you used Ice Repair to just heal Krusk for two... Like that's just so annoying. <laughs> it yeah, seems then, strong. I, I definitely, especially if you have like a lot of ice golems and uh, uh, a lot of other structures on the board. Like for that one, it was just him. But imagine if I had you know three other structures on the board, it'd be super annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder. It, it makes me like I feel like I want to like look through. But like just like look at each summoner and be like, how would I build this? Like, like what am I going for in drafting? Um, and then sometimes you get one card and then you pivot to it, like level three yeah. pivoted to, <laughs> yeah. To Katsu. Yeah. I feel yeah. like having having like a good amount of good options because I what I struggled the most with was just having like dead cards. Like I had to take a Sage Ranger at one point and it ended up being useful in one situation, yeah. but. It was not a card that matched my deck whatsoever. Same with mm. a random devout cultist, even though that card was good. <laughs> even though <laughs> the, the worst card in my deck is a devout cultist. Oh no. <laughs> um, I mean, Titus. Titus isn't great. Just that's true. He has the same problem that like Glurp does, where I just don't think he's worth the money. Sometimes. Interesting. Oh my god, this fighter is amazing. I'm just watching the game. Much better, he's much better <laughs> than Glurp, but like, I wanted to put Glurp in a vine, vine wall deck. Vine gate deck, I should say. And it just, I just couldn't justify it because a 3-7 for 6. It just Glurp. wasn't worth it. Yeah, it, it's hard. Like, when, when, I emer when you emerge, it feels fine because, like, you're just paying 3 for him. But, like, 6 costs are hard, but I just I love his ability so much that like I can't not it's just too much fun. Yeah, I mean, I think this, yeah. This is a great yeah. event for especially. Like I've never played deck building before, but I think it's a lot of fun because also like you don't have people. I think probably something intimidating when you start deck building is probably dealing with players who already have, you know, a really nice deck. Versus this one, you know, sort of more of an even playing field where no one can 
strictly decide what their deck is beforehand. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's fun to it's fun to chat too, like while making the while making the deck. Now, ne next time I won't leave the chat when I make mine, just to be like, oh, I got this, and oh, I got this, and oh, do you think I should take this? So, uh, I think it's fun. That's a great idea, actually. Like you can have a chat, especially for people who have never played before, just talking about mm -hmm. it. Because like you, you anyways get to see their deck, so it's not like it's a it's a uh, you gain information from that. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Seems fine to chat, chat about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, it's a, something that's what what we'll, we'll see about it bringing up like cards being like dead. Um, like I I I, I kind of like it that there's that like you're forced to take some cards that don't fit your deck. I mean, my deck just didn't make sense at all. But like, what what, what when I made some like like a shadow elf deck, it felt like pretty much every card had a place or something and like to the to the point where like i wanted to like have less options like i felt like i should be forced to take some stuff that didn't really fit like that can sort of be fun of the, in this format it's just like oh you have a random sage ranger that you don't want like see if you can do anything with it or just discard it i don't know that was pretty fun trying to figure out how to use them and titus <laughs> even though i just trash talked him like two minutes ago ended up being super clutch in one of my games yeah, you the game against me. You, as you could tell. Yeah, no, that that was that was. Getting the, I could not kill it. <laughs> being able to use the ten magic to get a champ back and have it have protect to protect, you know, protect my summoner. Yeah. Yeah, the double champ was was crazy there. Um. Well, I might I might on stream just watch through a few of these other games. I'm I'm curious to see, but I I guess uh this and you you're welcome to stick around and chat. But this I guess this concludes the tournament. And maybe All right. maybe we do do another one in like two or three weeks or something. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? Like how how often we should do them? Yeah, I think I think uh I think one thing is um. Maybe like the day before, remind people because I think, uh, for example, I forgot uh, that this was even yeah, okay. today until the message. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but and also, I think it, it it was the term was at an unfortunate time where I think there was a lot of other announcements happening at the same time uh, during that hour or two hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I think I think outside of that, I think it's been run very well. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it, it feels like it was, it was a ton of fun. So I feel I feel like maybe this success story can get more people. I wouldn't wouldn't want to do it too often though to burn out and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. I think I think I'm gonna head out now. Yeah, thanks for sounds organizing. Good. I'll 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 see you later. Thanks for coming by. Peace out. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> bye bye. It was a lot of fun. Hey. Yep. See ya. And. Oops, Summoner Wars. Feel free to do do do. All right, let's 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 take a look at a few of these other games real quick. And Gunnar, you're you're welcome to jump over onto the Twitch stream if you want to watch as well. I wanna I wanna watch that first game against. You and um, level three CPU. I want to. I want to see how that worked out. Um, let me get everything set up here. But feel free to feel free to take off as well. Um, this mm, you know actually let me i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this up on my other monitor real quick just just wait a second sorry <laughs> uh do 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 yeah, I just I I wanna I wanna see some of these games that I missed real quick. Oh, I can I can click on this super easily. Awesome. Sweet. All right.
Let, let's see how this one went down. Doing Shadow Elves things. Attacking the main gate with cylinder is such a hot take that I just disagree with so hard. <laughs> like, you could just lose so much value if it rolls high. Stim shrooms. Let me take a peek at what level three even built. <laughs> Double stim shrooms. Ugh. That's the suck. Got the warriors. They like tried to build a blood summon deck, but didn't do blood summon. Two carriers. All right, I can roast him for this too. I mean, like I know he just like it. Just the drafting didn't work out. But, like my, my mine was. I was trying to build a good deck, and I, <laughs> I just I I made some bad picks. Uh, I'm sure he. Didn't have much of a choice in that. It's interesting for Sundarved to to be the champion. I, I could see. I mean, Sundarved just seems like good for value. I honestly like the draft format in that, like, like in normal deck building, Sundarved it seems like is a, maybe like a tier, like a tier below the decks that kind of just do. Like I, I think I think about like a two tiers. Like two two of the, the the high the highest two tiers of deck building I like to find is like the S tier is like the decks that just do something that is so like ridiculously broken that it, it, you just you you're you're taking advantage of 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 some sort of combo um and then there's like that decks below that that just have a lot of good parts that work together and will generally play for value or something and that's definitely Sundervet just like lots of like board directors and Sundervet is great um it can't quite compete with like this crazy combo decks, but uh but then it makes sense but then like that really d d deck building like the crazy combo decks were just like uh, i don't know the, the, the shadow elves cool doc and i, I don't like the, the vanguards build that you can never get behind like those decks you can't really, you can't make them to the same extent, and so like it's sort of even the playing field. So it'd be great if if Sundarved, kind of a star here. I would have much rather chosen Sundarved than Celeste, honestly. Celeste did not, I did not go anywhere with that. Wow, some big dice. Ah, oh, but a big miss. Running away. I like it. Gate it. Your gate's at three health and you have no one to blame but yourself. Okay, well I guess you just into darkness it. Whatever, you suck. Always got a shit talk. Level three. Seems like a tough like the game seems pretty close this far. It's still like I feel like if I saw this, I would honestly favor Shadow Elves. No, then I, I I just saw I just saw Grenar's cards in deck, and that is 
something nasty. Um, <laughs> hey, got the two carriers out. Um, yeah, so we, we gotta, yeah, like, I gotta think long and hard next time we come back for this tournament, like, because you want to build a deck and then you want it to just, like, just go 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 ham and go crazy and that's not what happened believe in the fighter a hey, <laughs> easy <laughs> i love fighters i never play them because <laughs> i'm scared but i shouldn't be you gotta get next time i gotta build a deck that doesn't suck <laughs> i gotta draw i gotta draw a summoner i should i should have done cross or something. No, I easily could have built, built a deck that was just as bad. There's definitely a, a massive skill thing with like how to build a deck. Like you can easily lose the tournament before any games have started. Look it down for Sudurad. Like, I'd be scared. I'd be scared of an assassination. I'd be scared of a lot of things. Yeah, it looks like a very, very close game. Oh no, you're strong holding away. I see, I see. I thought I thought you were about to like survive some crazy attack somehow. Yeah, Stronghold's kind of good, isn't it? Crazy. Adventure, I like it. Just gonna try to one-shot that gate, I guess. Oh no, it can just go forward. Easy. Easiest game. I love it. Um, and one second, let me grab another game here. And all right, uh, let's watch another one. So Grenor beat us. Um and Jaxic lost. I mean maybe I'll just do like a little zip here. Um, um and Jaxic lost. I mean we see most of the games then. Um Theobata versus Cherez, we could watch. Um, let's see Cherez versus Jaxic, I'm curious. Jaxic made Eddie up. Yeah, let's let's see let's see what sort of deck Jaxic had made, even though he had to bow out early. Seems decent. Mind Witches, Seekers, Paladins, Guarding Spirits, Insight, Tome. I think it's real interesting in this format. Seems seems real weird.
Yeah, I'm I'm cu I'm curious what he does with this one. The ice smith and Krusk is funny. Yeah, so many, I feel like you need to like look through a deck and like how many cards are bad, because like, like yeah, I'm I'm sure Ice Smith was like, well, I mean maybe Ice Smith is deliberate. I just don't think it. Oh, Ice Smith on scavengers. I mean for so like, for some like assassination scary times, I guess could be good. Yeah, this is, this is a ton of fun. Um, and I'll definitely chat with Bob P too, and like maybe we can... I mean, I, I don't think there's anything I'd really change about the draft thing right now. I mean, I know he was talking about like making it, like you can create a pool and like everyone can join the pool, but like, and, like so we can all make decks at the same time, but I honestly don't think I really, really need that. I mean, like we you could have like this be inside um, draft mania. Or sorry, the, you you could have this be like inside the app, but then it's like how many different possible tournament configurations would you want to put into Bob T's website? And like we 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 can we can just run it ourselves through a spreadsheet. It's fine. If I knew how to code, I would make it, but I don't. <laughs> um, maybe level three says they 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 know a bit, so like maybe they they'd make like an automated tournament spreadsheet sort of thing. Voila. Uh, got the Mind Witch combo. Yeah, any deck with Mind Witch seems good. I hate to say it, but Celeste might be... I don't know, I, I, I'd have to see Celeste in the hands of someone who's like... more of an aggro player and see how they build it. How they want to build Celeste. Double detonate. <laughs> I remember Karaz was complaining about not having use for detonate. I think it's a lot worse when you're not going 10 health gate, which I guess, I think you had a few upgrades, but maybe not enough to do it. And if you don't have a ton of, oh, what should we call it, wrench rats. There's definitely, <laughs> there's the distinct option in draft that you draft something worse than the base deck. Because the base deck has a lot of combos, and you could just end up drafting something that doesn't have a ton of combos. And I think that, that's something I didn't really realize going into this, that like, you gotta be afraid. Like, you could build something, like, you could not only, like, you could build something that's better than base, but you could also build something that's significantly worse. <laughs> and that's definitely what my deck ended up being. Um... Like, I was just like, oh, Border Rutgers is great. <laughs> it's just like, wait, no, this just doesn't fit. Like, the deck needs to synergize. And the base deck synergizes. And deck builds in general, you build them around some sort of theme. Um, but if you just got nothing, no theme, then it can be a bit weird. Yeah, I'd just be very excited to just... I honestly, I, I, I love this so much. I mean... I, I, I want to do it more than like bi-weekly, but I just don't think I don't I don't think we could get people to come out weekly. And like, if you have a weekly event, then people are like, oh, I'll just miss this week, um, and then turn out less, and then the event kind of dies. I think I think bi-weekly. I mean, if if we can, we 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 had six. We we started with eight, but two two dropped after the first round. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then six is enough uh, for. I mean, I, I guess I guess the eight helped. Well, no, sorry, we started with. Let me just look. <laughs> no, we we started with six and dropped to four. I see. Yeah, so I mean, as long as we get like. Six people. We only would have been able to do if we had started with four. If we had started with four, we still would have been able to do three games. I think that's how it works. Um, so as, as long as a few people show up, we can we can always do this.
<laughs> no whammies. Um, nice. You got the nice like thruster crusk end game though going for you. I like it. Justice kills itself. Always good. Edia might be <laughs> in a dangerous spot here. <laughs> Got to. <laughs> Just. <laughs> and here's Katsu. <laughs> and here's the stage. I love Jexic's deck. This is the deck I want to be playing. I want to be playing something with Sun or Moon or something. I think partially because my deck just totally flops is like actually like I just I want to do this again. I want more drafting. Um, Katu coming in. It looks like Krusk might be able to have. I mean, more cards in deck, but Katu on board. Jacktick's a little bit greedy with Katu, moving him up so far though. Could definitely. <laughs> that archer is just attacking for one a turn. Uh, Katu could definitely get murdered? It'd be bad. Yep. Oh. Oh, I guess. Oh, we're just killing Eddie. Lol. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Uh, good stuff. Well, f fun game. All right. Well, you know, there's only there's only one other game we haven't seen, right? Um, and that is Ciabatta versus Cheres. So we might as well might as well give it a watch. Um. Let's update the tournament here. Good stuff. Seems like Vanguards could be a be a easy top pick here, cause like, it, it doesn't seem like it's too hard to get. Like if you, if you have a particular common in mind, it feels like your odds of getting at least three of that common are pretty high. Like I feel like you've got like a it feels like a two thirds chance or something. I mean I need more experience, but like to like to get three of them. Um, and even if you don't, even if you only had two Citadel Knights, you have other Citadel units. You have so many Citadel units in Sarah that it feels pretty easy to get it to work. I like the Gunner and Wind Mages in the same deck, actually. I didn't think about how Krusk is the only the only summoner that can really do that. That's that's pretty sweet. There I'm moving up. God, Gr Grenor's win at the end of there with the with like the the fighter with the axe just going back and forth. I think we gotta watch that one more time after this. That was that was just something. That was beautiful. That's what deck building is all about. Oh, and the I, I love the phoenix. That's good. Kill your own wind mage, and then the gunner can attack. I guess, yeah, it's not, not the plan. <laughs> and it still dies! <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's like a 55% chance or something of your unit dying and not killing the enemy unit in that situation. <laughs> feels bad. 
Oh, new hope. Is this the crazy turn that I was told about? It sure is.